During my 2006 campaign, I talked about it during my 2010 campaign. The press didn't want to pick up on it. They're still not picking up on it. Uh, you know, the fact that my father went through his trial, and I was in Afghanistan, and the news got all the way over there. It's unbelievable that the deputy mayor to Mayor Cory Booker implicates the chief of staff and other high-ranking officials, and the press is like quiet on it. You might get a story and the sound bites are all there. every other day. You know, even one story ran and even mentioned the mayor's name. Unbelievable. You know, yet my father's history, he was blamed for Earl Harris getting convicted. Uh, uh, Earl Harris, one other gentleman, uh, counselor, I forget, uh, got convicted. And like under the James administration. They were councilmen who got elected just like my father. He has no control over what they do. So now people are trying to find excuses and saying, oh, well, people couldn't know what his deputy mayor was doing. You know, so, yeah. We didn't get that before. And the press knows that they need to be quiet because, you know, there is so much praise, so much reform for Corey. And they come in and Salina and basically say, everyone's on the table. Everyone's trying to get a piece. You know, I mean, that's, that's crazy for someone inside the inner circle of a mayor to make that kind of comment. Same, man. You know, it's and then on tape. he said you got to be careful who's listening. Right. right, right. <laughs> and it's on tape. Just unbelievable. You know, and, uh, you know, hopefully the press uh, will be fair at some point and say, hey, you know, we, maybe we thought Corey was a former reformer when he came in, but things have kind of changed. Or maybe he was just naive and surrounded himself with the wrong people. Ain't giving it out like that, but uh, the bottom line is citizens of the city of Newark are suffering. There's no clear scope of improvement in sight. People can sit, constantly talk about Corey, running for Senate, running for governor, running for president. No one is talking about turning around Newark. And unfortunately, you know, for us, for us who live here, we're not going anywhere. We have to make do with what we have. Thanks.